everybody. It is a Thursday morning for me and I have a little break in my work day so I thought I would film a perfume review. So this is a fragrance that I got at Burlington Coat Factory uh, with a couple, with three other fragrances to be exact. Um, actually all of the fragrances that I got at Burlington Coat Factory were celebrity fragrances because they had a lot of celebrity fragrances there. They just had a lot of um, very affordable perfumes. They didn't really have any more um, designer perfumes. Oh my gosh, I've got cat hair or something. Um, so anyway, uh, this is what I have today. It is... I don't actually know what this brand is called. But it's, I think it's Kim Kardashian's brand. It's got like the K and the K. Let me, <laughs> let me look this up. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what it's called. <clears throat> the perfume is called Pure Honey. I think it's just called, I think the brand is just Kim Kardashian. Which makes sense why it says KK. Uh, but it's called Pure Honey. It's got this cute little bee. This little bee right here. I like that. This is a small amount. This is uh, only one fluid ounce and I purchased this for $7.99. So this was very affordable. Um, definitely a good value uh, for the money. I am not going to be keeping this fragrance. It's like I want to like it and in a weird way I sort of do like the smell of it just as a smell But I know that I wouldn't I don't think I would ever want to smell like that myself um, Especially for multiple hours I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't think I would I'll get into the notes uh, a little bit more soon and You know why I don't think I would want to smell like it. But anyway, it's definitely a different perfume, and I like that about it. So, yeah, I think the bottle is fun, too. It's glass. This is plastic, but this is glass, and it's got this sort of beehive look to it. I do get beehive vibes from it. And then, of course, the color is like this deep honey color. So, uh, of course, I tried to dress on theme. I've got this shirt, which is, I wish I had a shirt that was a little bit lighter, or a little bit darker, a little more ambery, orangey, but I don't. So I've got this shirt, which is like a deep yellow, and then I've got these earrings that I made. I forget the stone. Maybe some sort of yellow quartz, I don't know, but I wrapped them in gold. These are the only yellow earrings that I have. Actually, I do have one more pair of yellow earrings. Um, and I put on a little bit of eyeliner because I was just thinking of Kim Kardashian and I feel like that was why I put on the eyeliner. I don't really know. I don't really know much at all about Kim Kardashian. I mean, I know who she is. I know she's extremely famous. She's got sisters and all of that. Um, I don't really know a lot more, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna speak to any of that. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and spray this. Oh, it's a little squeaky. Honey and beeswax were the first notes. 
Alicia, I'm just like, eh, so I need to like go to a flower shop or like just go out and smell the flowers this spring. And I'm really excited to do that. Okay, so for the middle notes, we have, and these are the ones that I really do smell more. We have beeswax, honey, honeysuckle, and orchid. So I definitely smell the beeswax and the honey. It's just, it's like a waxy honey, like I do get the beeswax. Although I wouldn't say it smells necessarily the most realistic, like it smells kind of a little amped up and synthetic, I would say. Um, I do get some honeysuckle as well. And then orchid. Uh, orchid is another one where I don't think I've smelled it enough on its own to really uh, have a grasp, but to me, I feel like orchid's like a little bit more vanilla -y. I'm gonna read the description on Fragrantica. It says, usually a fantasy synthetic floral note. Okay, so basically what it's saying is that orchid doesn't really seem to have, I think, much of its own natural scent. And I have owned orchids before, and I've seen plenty of other orchids, and, you know, I don't remember any sort of smell. So I think that's what they're getting at when they say it's a synthetic uh, fantasy floral note. But I'm gonna look up uh, orchid smell in perfume and see what it says. Um, 
let's look at some other information. So, 1,065 people have voted on this fragrance, so that's a decent amount, and it has a rating of 3.76 out of 5. So, people like it decently, um, but it's not, like, super well-loved. The description on Fragrantica says, Pure Honey by Kim Kardashian.
person says, so reminiscent of why shiny I washed I washed the kids products. I don't know what that means. I truly love this fragrance and it makes me feel warm and cozy in the fall. Compliments galore on the borderland gourmand. Honey gum lips elixir dripping with fresh golden nectar. Floral nut floral nuts of freesia and honeysuckle brighten. The fragrance giving it that French milled soap vibe. Yeah, it does sort of it does have a soapy floral vibe. For sure. Somebody else says, I would describe this scent as waxy, which sounds like it should be disgusting, but it's actually divine. Um, let's see, somebody who does not like this says, I collect honey fragrances and I have avoided this one as to not give money to that goblin family. This smells absolutely nothing like honey. It is baby powder. Such a strong baby powder fragrance that you feel like you have to dry. You feel like you have a dry mouth from it. It's putrid and all of the other comments on here make me realize everybody is full of shh. S-H-I-D. Um, so that person definitely does not like this perfume. Um, it does smell ba very baby powdery. I agree with them. Um, I just think, yeah, I wouldn't want to wear this myself, but I do kind of like something about it, like I was saying. Um, so it's interesting. I feel ambivalent, I guess, about it, but I am going to resell this. I'm not going to keep it. Somebody else is going to love this at some point. So it's going to be their perfume. Um, okay. That is all that I have for today. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest.